Fuck farts. Do an episode on LJN games, bitch. I hope you commit suicide and eat donkey shit at the same time. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> That's awesome. Yo, AVGN, how's it hanging? I have an idea on how to keep your games fucking sweet and make a movie that will kick so much ass that I will need new butt cheeks. <laughs> now that's a good quote. Kick my ass so much that I will need new butt cheeks. Well, anyway, why don't you work on the movie one day and the nerd episodes the next and keep repeating the same thing until you are done with the movie and have a, have motherfucker Mike do the same thing with the scenes that you aren't in. Well, this guy's thinking, at least, so uh, so thanks for the idea, but no, that wouldn't really work. It would be shifting between two things constantly. You know, it's it's you know it's hard to explain why that would not work, but it just it just wouldn't. I got to be working on one thing at a time, one project, one task, and move on. So, request to use clip from Zelda Two review an upcoming Moon documentary. Okay, I mean, I get all kinds of things all the time, and you know, I. I like I said, I can't respond to everything, but I'm always getting asked to do, like, people want me to record a voice or do something, or sometimes it's just as simple as just asking me permission for something, but then I, you know, I want to look into it first, and a lot of times I don't have the time, so I don't know exactly what this one's about, I haven't had a chance to look into it, but I did respond to him and said, yeah, go, you know, go ahead, but anyway, what he says is, I'm a documentary filmmaker, I produce videos detailing Apollo moon landing conspiracy theories. Hmm, sounds interesting. So, I have a major film coming up discussing moon rocks. I noticed that in your latest AVGN video, you mentioned that one of the enemies in Zelda 2 is called a Tektite, and you go on to quote the definition. It might interest you to know that the real Tektites are believed by some scientists to be of lunar origin because of their chemical composition similarities to Apollo samples. In my upcoming video, I quote the exact same definition you do. That being said, I was wondering if I, if I could use the Tektite clip from your review in my upcoming documentary. It certainly would make a cool cameo by the Angry Video Game Nerd. So, sounds interesting. I hope to check it out sometime. But, uh, Tektites, I never thought I'd hear more about that. Okay, the heading of this one is Douche. Play Fast Break. I love you. Your mother. <laughs> your mother. So, well, and it's like, it's not saying your mother. It's like addressed from my mother. So, so, okay, play fast break. Well, it's coming from my mother, apparently, so, okay. If you put me in your movie, I'll give you my next paycheck. No, that's all right. You can keep your paycheck. You probably need it more than I do. Like I said, if you put me in your movie, I'll give you my next paycheck. I am a very experienced actor, and I love the whole AV Gen thing. Please, 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 please. Now, this is a perfect example of what not to do in an email. This is what you do not do. Okay, here's another long one, um, but, uh, so I just beat Ninja Gaiden. If you did, congratulations, because that is one of the hardest games I've ever played, and I could not beat it. Um, holy fucking shit, do I have a headache right now? I bet you do, after playing that. Uh, for the last two hours, I have been cursing nonstop at my laptop, and this was only for the final bosses. Honestly, the only thing I can say for the second one is to go fuck itself. I tried to come up with different strategies, but they would end up being debunked quickly, especially when half the times the sword wouldn't register as a hit and go straight through the boss. I ended up just taking my time and striking the boss when necessary. However, the first time I did this, I got him down to about two bars when I realized I had a time. Ten seconds left to go, so I rushed, losing my three-quarters full health faster than the timer running out. This happened about two more times until I successfully finished off the bastard. The final boss is so much easier than the second one. Pretty much all you have to do is keep your timing and dodge when necessary, and then you'll beat... In 20-30 seconds, it took me a couple tries since the projectiles take about three bars away from your health and it shoots a shitload. I do admit that I used an emulator and didn't technically beat the game legitly. The only times I used the save states was on the final boss since I remember from your video that when you die, you go all the way back to the beginning of the level. So, fuck that noise. So, fuck that noise. I think he meant fuck that nonsense. So, I don't know. I don't know why that got categorized under funny emails. I have heard some, I, I, I guess I thought this was one of those emails where people are telling me that, uh, I said in the Ninja Gaiden video that when you get to the last three bosses, that the game does not replenish your health between all the bosses, and some people have told me it does, 
Well, I tried to verify it, and actually what it seems to be the case is that if you die on one of the bosses, which I did, then when you get to the bosses again, the second time, it does not replenish your health, just like I showed in the video. But if you beat all three bosses the first time and, you know, don't die on them, then it will replenish your, your lives, your your health. So it the game is more punishing to you if you don't do it perfect the first time. So that's that's the truth. I, I Through all this stuff, I found out more more stuff about Nintendo games than I ever thought I would. Greetings, James. I recently got back from a deployment to Iraq. During my six-month stay, life was terrible, but I had access to the internet every couple of weeks, and your videos and reviews lifted my spirit when times were the worst. Keep on doing what you do. You're the funniest man I've ever seen. I'm glad that you keep the show going. I really like the Halloween episodes. Over in Iraq, I got yelled at several times for having AVGN written on my helmet. And sure enough, your name spread like wildfire through my company, so you're a hit with the army. Thanks again. Your reply really made my day. Keep on rocking. <laughs> Dear James, I know that you're a busy man and will have little to no time to read or respond to this. The reason I am writing this is to, like I said, to thank you for what you might ask for saving my life. You see, about a year ago, I hit a slump in my life and contemplated suicide for reasons I wish to remain secret, I'm sure you understand. Wow, yeah, that's pretty heavy. Um, then I stumbled on one of your videos on YouTube and it made me smile for the first time in a long time. I guess it was the way you displayed the nerd, or maybe it was that I seen myself within the nerd. However, your on-screen antics touched my life. It allowed me to embrace my love for movies and video games again. Mainly, it was your passion for what you do. It showed me that... If you enjoyed something so much, nothing can stand in your way. It had, in some weird way, helped me reconnect with my wife and to be my wife and son once again. Allowed me to not take things so seriously and just enjoy the ride, so to speak. You've touched many lives, James. I don't know how many you saved, but it means anything. You saved at least one truly grateful fan. I'm hoping soon to get your DVDs, not only to enjoy, but as a memento to the person I owe my life to. Yeah, wow. Um, well, thanks. Um, one thing I'll say is that no matter how terrible things seem sometime, they can always get better. Everything can always change. Like you never know what's gonna what's gonna happen. So no matter how bad things seem at any time, you know, just know it can always change. So never give up. Mr. James Rolfe, let me just start by saying how much of a huge fucking fan I am. I spent four years in the Army and one year in Iraq, and traveled all over the world, and you're one of the funniest guys I've ever seen. You fucking rock, bro, and I love watching every damn video you make. I had actually never heard of you until the summer when a good buddy of mine introduced me to your site and the AVGN vids. The first one I watched was Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer. What a horrible game, but you had me busting up the whole time I was crying. I was, tr It was truly classic, and I immediately went to being a diehard fan with one viewing. And that speaks very highly of your productions, James. Him and I have been epic gamers since we were kids, and I remember the days when games were super fucking goddamn hard, and the instructions didn't explain jack shit, and no games had tutorials back on NES. We were just kids without jobs, so Christmas and birthdays were the only times we got new games. And if they sucked or were hard, we just had to fucking deal with it and play the shit out of those games regardless. Well, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, I have a lot of uh, memories with games like that. So, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Uh, it, it's really, it's it's fun to relive those memories. It really is. So, if these videos have done anything, I hope it's that. It just helps you relive that that time, you know, things weren't really that great back then, but they're, it's good to remember the things that, that stick out.